If you're from Michigan, you probably know that our state stone is the Petoskey Stone. And if you watch my videos, you've seen lots of Petoskey Stones. Uh, but we also have a state gemstone, and it goes by a bunch of different names. Uh, the easiest one is Greenstone, or sometimes it's called Isle Royal Greenstone because it's found on Isle Royal, uh, but it's also found in the Keweenaw Peninsula. Uh, it's illegal to pick it up on Isle Royal because that's a national park, but you can pick it up legally in the Keweenaw Peninsula, which is where this came from. If you want to get more technical, it's called Chlorastrolite, which is a type of Pompeliite. So I could never remember chlorastrolite until when I was doing some research for this video, I saw that it's made up out of three Greek words. The first one is chloro, which means green, and they're green, green stones, so that's easy. Uh, the, the middle part is astro, uh, which is, uh, well, it's the dog on the Jetsons, but it also means star. So we got green star, and then the light comes from lithos, which means stone. So green star stone, chlorastrolite. So anyhow, I've got a pile of it here, um, and this came from one of the people that watched my videos by the name of Kyle Martin, and I gotta give him a huge thanks. He found this in the legal spot in the Keweenaw Peninsula. He found a piece of basalt that I guess was just full of it. Um, I have a piece of basalt, or several pieces of basalt, with some really small ones. Uh, these are actually kind of huge for green stones. Uh, I think the biggest one ever was three inches long. Uh, so anyhow, he sent me these to play around with. I'm going to try polishing them on my cab machine. I've never polished one of these before, so I'm kind of excited to see what it looks like. So let's take a little closer look at them, and then I'll uh, start polishing. These don't look like too much right now. We'll have to polish them to see how they really look. Uh, but they get uh, what they call a turtleback pattern on them. Looks almost a little bit like a Petoskey stone pattern. But I read that only about 5% of them actually uh, are gemstone quality. So I don't know what that says about the rest of them. Uh, if gemstone quality just means they're the very best, or if it means that the other ones don't show that turtleback pattern at all. So we're going to have to uh, try it and find out. Uh, Kyle also sent me some broken ones. And I want you to look right in here, and I'll see if I can get it to do it. But these are chatoyant, like tiger's eye. If you move tiger's eye around in the light, it kind of shimmers back and forth. Hopefully you can kind of see that. We'll try a couple of them here. So in the middle there, I guess that can be different minerals. Look right along here. Um, it can be calcite or quartz. Uh, I think there are some other things also. And I haven't tested to see what it is, but obviously you don't want to polish in that far. Can you see that kind of moving around there? Right along the edges there. All right, so let's take these over to the cab machine and see what I can do with them. Well, this is the stone I've decided to start with. Uh, you can see it's broken here in the back. So it'll make a good practice stone. It has a really nice kind of flat surface here on this side, so I'm not going to attempt to polish any of that. I'm just going to work back here. Uh, this is a fairly soft stone. It's 5.5 on the Mohs scale of hardness. So I'm going to start here on the 220 wheel uh, and then kind of work my way from there. I don't think I need to be as aggressive as this first wheel. So uh, we'll just start there and see what happens. Uh, Kyle did tell me if you if you polish too deeply or grind too deeply, you go past the green, the turtle back, and it gets into kind of a black color and inside a little bit more. So I'm going to be careful not to go too far here. I just dried this off after running on the 280 wheel and I don't see any turtleback pattern there, at least nothing too obvious. But I'm going to keep polishing just in case it comes out later since I don't know what I'm doing here. This is the first one ever. So let's, let's continue on. Oh, 
Right here it is dried off. I didn't run it on the cerium wheel on the end, but uh, it's pretty shiny. But I don't see any turtle back pattern. So I'm going to keep trying, and when I find one that looks cool, I'm going to show it to you. Okay, I'm going to try this little guy. See, it's broken back here. And I'm just going to try some of these other faces, maybe just a little bit here and here. Maybe skip the bump. I don't know. We'll see what happens. As I said, I'm just learning this. So I can see a little bit of cool pattern right there. The rest all kind of looks plain. I'm looking here and seeing that that, that chatoyant part kind of stops right there. So maybe I need to grind off a lot more of this to get into it. We're on this side, I, I'm right up to it, and that's where I'm seeing some better stuff. So I'm going to go back and grind this one more and see if I can get down to the good stuff. Just experimenting here and hopefully I figure this out. Okay, so I've done two rocks. The first one didn't have any turtle back pattern at all on it. And the second one at first didn't, but as I ground deeper I got into the turtle back. You could kind of see that this, this stuff here didn't go all the way to the surface. So I just ground down until I got to it and it's looking a lot better. And you can see that chatoyance in it sometimes. Getting the glare of the light on there. Sorry about that. So let me show you this one. Okay, there's the the chatoyant part, and there's a bunch of rock on top of it. Can't really see what's going on over there so much. I might grind in on this side a little bit more. But you can kind of see it comes out right to the surface there, but not over here. It's much deeper. So I don't see any harm in grinding a lot more of that off, since it doesn't look like much now. I may as well go deeper and see what I can find. Alright, I am learning a lot here. Uh, this is that same one. I just ground deeper. I think there's a little bit, you can see a little bit of a dip there. So I think there's a little valley in there that I, I don't didn't really get into. But that I thought was a dud, and it's not a dud at all. It's kind of amazing. I don't know if you can see it. I hope so, but along in here, well, in this bad spot here, it's kind of... It's not super shiny. There's like little pinholes. I've got some of that around here. And a little bit right in there. So I tried to go, I've, I've done this a couple times now. I've gone a little bit deeper and deeper. I'm, I'm afraid to go too deep, but um, it's, these are not easy to polish. But isn't that cool looking? I'm very happy with how that one's turned out. Here's the next one I'm going to tackle. So I'll show you when I'm all done. Things sure do get tiny by the time you get done with them. Not doing a perfect job, but I think I'm getting a little better as I go. Alright, it's the next day now. Uh, I decided to stop and try to learn a little bit more about what I'm doing before I ruined anything. So I posted a question on a Facebook group called Michigan Greenstone Enthusiasts. And Chris Cooper answered my question. Uh, Chris is also an admin at Great Lakes Rocks and Minerals, another Facebook group that I go to quite a bit. So anyhow, he said, uh, he taught me a new word, he said it's called chasing the pattern. He said that pitting, uh, you, you can grind past it sometimes, but other times it goes all the way through the whole stone. So you might get all the way down to where it just turns black. So it's kind of a guessing game, and I, I suppose with more practice, uh, you'll get better at knowing when to stop and when to keep going. So... With that knowledge, I think I'm going to leave this one be, because I've already gone back and ground on that part quite a bit. Uh, but I'm going to try another one. I'm going to try this one, which is sort of lumpy. It's another broken one. I'm only working on the broken ones. It's kind of cool right in there. 
So uh, this part looks easy enough to, to work on and I don't know if I'll work my way around the other sides or not. Uh, we'll have to see as it goes. I have started using this 80 grit wheel. It doesn't seem to be too aggressive and you just have to know when to stop and move on to the next one. So this one ended up breaking in half. Here's the other half. This is really thin and wasn't much left and I just couldn't get down to the, the pattern on that bottom half there. I was just getting a little bit along the edge. So anyhow, here's the, the successful half. I'm going to give this one a shot next. I'll just show it to you when it's done. Okay, so I've been grinding on this one for a little bit. And you can see that it's got kind of two nodules stuck together. There's like a complete one on the right. And then I've got some stuff showing up on the left, but I think I'm just going to grind this side off. I cut it on my saw, but it's a pretty delicate cut. These things are really small, so I think it might just chip up. So I think I'm going to just sacrifice this and see if I can get a complete nodule and do all the sides over here on the left. That's my plan. There it is. Not perfect. but It's so small, hard to hang on to. There's a hole there on the top left you can see and one underneath it. But it's so thin there that I just didn't feel like it was a good idea to go any deeper. Tiny little things, but they sure are cool. Alright, I think I'm going to do one of the ones without a chip in them. I just grabbed one. That's the one I'm going to try. Looks pretty good on the back. There's kind of a bump there, but... This is going to be my last one, so wish me luck. Well, that's the best I could do on this one with my current skill level. There's definitely some pitting there. I decided to stop on this side. This was actually the smoother side and I just wasn't getting anywhere. So I went to the other side and that's kind of where I found the pattern. So it's so thin that I thought I should stop while I was ahead. So I got a couple other videos you might like here so click on one of those and I'll see you over there.